Yeah, no, I think this team has done a really good job of taking it one step at a time and, and focusing on, you know, the next game ahead. And I think it's no different here. Um, this is a new and, and interesting challenge that we get to, you know, step on the field and, and play as a team again. And we always look forward to that and, you know, just embrace it. Um, it's, it's definitely not annoying. And I think we're just excited for it. It's another game. We get to play at home in front of, you know, the best fans in the world. So we're excited. And, you know, I think we're managing this busy schedule really well. Um, but yeah, we're excited. We'll go to Stephanie Young. Thanks very much. Sophia, um, the NWSL players are very publicly, you know, negotiating a contract, a CBA right now. Um, I just wanted to get your perspective as a, a younger player. Um, I know it may be a little different if there's, you know, national team stuff involved, but as a younger player from your perspective, what are the things that you think will materially impact, you know, your lives for the better right now or, or in the immediate future? Yeah, I mean, I think it's awesome what the NWSL is doing and, and trying to negotiate. And I think, you know, every step forward that we can make with this league and, and with women's soccer in general is going to be huge for us and, and huge for my generation and, and the generations that come after me. Um, so, I mean, there's a lot of things that still need to happen, a lot of change that still needs to be made um, to get to the point where we should be and should have been for a long time now. But, I mean, it's just exciting to see you know, the work that's being done to try to get us there. Next, we'll go to Jonathan Tannewald. Thanks. Hi, Sophia. Thanks for giving us some of your time today. Um, you've played with Kat, obviously, a number of times over the years. What do you think it might be like to play against her if that matchup produces itself? And and what in this in this locker room with the Thorns, you know, what is the sense of the opportunity to play against a Barcelona or a Leon and what it would mean for women's soccer overall. Thank you. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've played with Kat. Uh, she's a great player and, and I think it will be super fun to, you know, see, see her on a different side and, and play against her. It will be a good challenge for our team. Um, and then, like I said, our, our team is just excited for this opportunity and, and the opportunity to play against a team that we've, you know, never seen before. So, it's all, you know, it's all just a, a cool new challenge that we're really excited to embrace. Reminder to media, if you have a question for Sophia, please raise your hand. Last call for Sophia. Any more questions? We'll go back to Caitlin Best. Uh, hi, just on the, on the topic of the number of games that you're having back to back, um, could you talk a little bit about the, the squad rotation and, and what it's been like integrating some of those players who've been away at the Olympics back into the team? Yeah, so I think, you know, during this period when the Olympic players were gone, I think every single person on this roster stepped up um, into whatever role it was that they, you know, that they had to play in. Um, and we've done a really good job of just maintaining that and, and constantly playing at a high level, regardless of who it is on the field. And, and I know that we'll continue to do that um, as, you know, the national team players start coming back and integrating back within the team. I think the best thing we can do is just continue what we're doing um, and, and keep, you know, this flow that we have going, regardless, like I said, of who's, who's on the field or who we're, we're playing, you know, alongside of, I think, you know, we're ready for that. I know the national team players will do a really good job of just coming back and, and bringing what they have to the table. And I think it will all come together. So I'm excited for that. 